Hi, uh, Joe Melody from Auto Construction. Yeah, you had a question last week about the beams going all crazy and all over the place when you try to place them. I mentioned to you about uh, the little dot where they're called joints, and yeah, they could be very annoying. So I'm going to run through this quick little video with you. And so basically what happens is, so I'm going to place some beams here. Uh, make sure the 3D snapping is on, and then I'll just go see that little point there, and I'll go say here. I'll make another beam here, and then I'll, oh no, this is like really something. Well, maybe you might not see, and then I'll go here. So the beams are placed basically automatically through rivet. Um, these are structural framing or steel beam families. So what happens is if I go in here and I zoom in real tight here, I'll just tab to that little line and that is the analytical line. So I want to go to my properties here. And if I go into properties under geometry, wait a second here, no, there. So under ge geome geometric positioning, so it says zero, 00 here at the start, and then at the end, it's just grayed out, so I can't do anything. And that's because if I select this, zoom in here, and I'll, this is disallowed joint, I'm on allow, so I'm gonna hit this. And then see what happens. I'm allowing that join, and it's just going to that point. Also, you can change it here. So the start level, I can change this to well, that's the end. So basically, what happens? The start is always green. The end is always red. So you'll know. So I'll select this guy, and I want to go to my geometric position. My start. I'm going to say three feet. Oh, sorry. So that's what happens. So that distance changes. Then I'll go to my end and I'll make this four. Oops, sorry about that. Go to my end position and make it four feet. Okay, so that's basically how you control the lengths. But Rivet is smart enough to know it wants to stop at that point. So here, a good example will be here for the join. So if I go here, I'll select this, and I'll zoom into this little dot, and then I want to disallow join. So that's what's going to happen, and that's not correct. So it's basically simple here. All you do is you go and allow and disallow these joins and, and, and basically see what happens. So if I disallow this one, okay. And then you can control the lengths, uh, how much space you want between them. And uh, that's basically it for that. And I want to show you one other thing here. Um, I'm going to bring this guy back to where I had it, uh, three. Let's see, start level. You can also change this here. Oh, I'm sorry. I changed the elevation. <laughs> nope. Cancel that. Going to get this guy. This is going to be done in the properties. So there's my JMAC position. Let's make this zero. And the end zero. And we'll be back to where we start. So that's basically what happens with the beans when they're going all over the place. And then again, uh, another little thing. I'm, I'm building this little project here and these join lines or these analytical lines are good for placing my families because I want to make sure everything's straight and so I'll always would snap to the to this point. Now that works with certain elements so I can also go here and I can put a plate there where we probably wouldn't have that there. But anyway uh, Joe I hope this helps. You got any questions? Let me know. But that's how joints work and how you can control the end points of beams. And it's just simply right here. You just right click and you allow 
or disallow joins. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Seeing you in a while. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.